All right, I've gone ahead and wiped out my absolute positioning, so we're back to this kind of in a stream. Back in the old days, we would have um, it would have been easy to do this in HTML. We would have created basically a table, and so um, right about um, well, first of all, we'd probably start not with the aside, but I'm gonna uh, cut that out and put it after the main section here. So we'd probably just kind of start a table here, and that first section would be a table, uh, a TD, and the aside would be a TD, and we'd make sure we hid the borders, have zero borders, and it would look beautiful. Can't do that anymore because HTML is semantic, but we can cheat a little bit now that we have a CSS3. I'm going to put a new di div, um, I'll call it uh, double for now, double column, but we'll just call it double. Um, and then it's going to contain the section and it's going to contain the aside. All right, and so I'll close it right here, end of the div, and just to remind me what it is, um, I'll go ahead and put double. That way I'll know that this is the end of the div double. So all I've done there is put a div around these two sections, okay? And I'm going to save this, and I'm going to go over to the style. And again, we really shouldn't have to adjust HTML. And in future versions of CSS and HTML, we won't have to. And in fact, there are some things in CSS that allow us to do some adjustments, and we can do it in jQuery as well. But for now, um, as a reality, uh, we're going to go ahead and do that. And so we've added in, we've got a section and a side. I'm going to go ahead and do something called um, double. Remember, that's the ID of the div I just put in there. And in double, I'm going to say display table. That's right, I'm making it into a table even though it's not a table in the HTML. Display can be um, block or inline normally, but in this case, I'm using um, display as a table. And then for the aside, I'm going to say that, um, oops, this should actually be up here front of the section. It doesn't matter in, in CSS. I mean, the latest thing gets the priority, but in this case, I'm just doing it to make sense. Um, and then we're going to do display table cell, and we'll do the same thing down here. And basically what we've done is we've made a table where there wasn't a table before. Let's see how that works. We'll refresh it, and we still need to deal with the padding there, but this solves all of our problems. Um, and it's pretty nice for browsers that work with CSS. We'd still have to do something about making sure that we have enough space in between these two because the padding isn't working the way we'd expect it to. But the basic process there is pretty straightforward. We put something around, just to remind you, we've got now a little bit of a slightly different structure. We've got something here called double, and then inside double we've got the main section and we've got the aside. And so those two things give us enough space to be able to create a two-sided, um, uh, two-columned uh, layout. This be becomes even more uh, effective when you're trying to deal with a three-column layout, which becomes more complicated otherwise. So um, we've kind of come full circle, and now we can use tables for layout, just not in HTML, only in CSS.